This is a heat engine problem where the temperature of the reservoirs are supplied. Uh, this is the hot reservoir on this side and cold reservoir. Uh, not only that, uh, the, it produces 200 kilowatts of net power. So the net power is given as well as the heat transfer from the hot reservoir to the engine, how much is Q.H is supplied. In other words, a, a problem cannot get any simpler than that. Nevertheless, we're going to use a suitable test step to solve the problem and show you how to use the I.O. panel to obtain secondary variables such as the minimum possible fuel consumptions, etc. I've already logged in as a student, so let's go and find the app. So we go to the test steps page, the tree, and of course, uh, it's a system analysis involving a closed system. Heat engine is a closed cycle, and this is our required destination. So we go and click there to launch the app. Go to the HTML5 page, really. A heat engine is the default choice. You can also do refrigeration and heat pump, heat pump problems using the same app. Okay, so let's enter the known variables that we are given. The hot temperature is 2000 Kelvin of the hot reservoir and cold temperature is 300 Kelvin. So just that information is enough to get the Carnot efficiency, 80%. Uh, also given is 200 kilowatt of net power and 400 kilowatt of heat added to the cycle. So therefore, the thermal efficiency must be 50% as we can you know, guess. Uh, so with all these quantities evaluated, uh, let us go and find out the fuel consumption rate. Of course, the actual fuel consumption rate will be based on the actual thermal efficiency. But the minimum fuel consumption rate will be based on Carnot efficiency. If the cycle ran in, uh, in the Carnot cycle and it consuming the same amount of heat. So to do so, we'll go to the I.O. panel. And I have already, uh, to, to reduce the time needed for this video, entered a few equations. I'll just go over them so that you can see what they are. First, I entered what is the heating value. Uh, which is 45 million joule, translated to uh, 45,000 kilojoule per kg of fuel. So therefore, the M dot fuel, the mass consumption rate of the fuel is given by Q dot H1. That is the heat consumption by the cycle divided by the heating value I just declared. Uh, so this value is picked up from the state panel. But the fuel consumption rate will be in SI unit kg per second. And so we are multiplying by 3600 to express it in kg per hour. Uh, by the way, all these values are calculated as soon as we hit the uh, calculate or the enter button and the outputs are displayed in the IO panel output area. The Carnot Q dot H, oh, I'm sorry, the, for, the, for the minimum fuel consumption, the net power output must be the same. So the W dot net one is kept the same as before, but the heat consumption is not the same. I was mistaken a few minutes ago. So Q dot, Q dot H for the Carnot cycle will be much less based on the Carnot efficiency, which is multiplied by 0 0.01 to get a fraction here from percent. So therefore, the fuel consumption in the Carnot cycle is again obtained by dividing that heat transfer by heating value and yeah, that's the heat that is added to the cycle, and this much amount of fuel you must burn to produce that much or release that much amount of heat. And finally, hourly basis is just multiplied by 3600. So as you can see, the answers are found and displayed here. It's only 18.82 kg per second for the Carnot cycle, and it's 32 kg per second for the actual cycle that is given in this problem.